We're here with Charlie, who's one of the professional dismantlers at Nordstrom's Automotive, Inc. And he's digging into a 22 and a half Silverado mid-year refresh truck uh, just to get some things taken apart. I looked on the internet for myself, looking to figure out how to get at the auto start stop button because I bought a, a module from Gen 5 DIY that allows you to remember your last setting on the auto start stop. I tried a couple of times without, without getting too deep to take this apart, but he's going to give you a quick quick tutorial on how this thing comes apart to access these pieces. It's got the big screen, which looks like how would that come apart? And this won't be the best video in the world as far as quality, but it's going to get you some important tips. So Charlie, just show us what you had to take apart here as quickly as you can uh, to, to access this stuff. Well, I had the center console out anyway, and then this, this trim panel pops off just like that. And this trim panel also, there's a seven mil on that end. Otherwise, it's just clips that hold that one on. So it's just some pressure, more than you'd probably feel comfortable, but it pops yep. off. Yep, they make plastic tools bend when you try to get them off. But, and then you take the uh, Speedo bezel out. Is that all just popped in too? Yep, that's all just popped right in. All right, so pressure, pressure well, again. Actually, I take that back. There was a seven mil down here, I think. Okay, so one small seven mil that we expose when you take that lower knee piece off. And then... The temp control, there's a, a handful of sevens around it, and that would just come, put it in there too tight, that'll just pop right out. Sound, Probably sounds like you're breaking things when you start pulling on them. Sounds horrible, but it's not, it's all there. And then the radio, there is the ones for the temp control, and one over here, one right, right here. Okay. And then... And this piece here... There's the trick right there. Covers these up. You take it out. And then there's there's four in there. Two for the dash panel and two for the radio. And then, once again, you're going to pull a little harder than you think you have to. And voila, there's your radio. Well, that's that big old display screen, the information center, all in one. And that's where you can access the back side of those switches. Like for the component that I had, you plug it in in line and it remembers your last setting. That was from Gen 5 DIY. It was a nice piece. I got it installed now. But uh, yeah, this is great, Charlie. Thanks for showing us this. You can also see this is where the Bose amp is at. And we're going to do another video. You see this little air tube right here? I'm going to tell you about that when we go in the back and look at the center console on a separate video. Thanks, Charlie. This is Charlie, a professional dismantler. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Charlie. This is a professional dismantler at Nordstrom's Automotive. And uh, we'll uh, maybe do that again. <laughs>